wasting some time here with the tier 5 premium Murmansk on World of Warships. Big surprise, that's what I'm posting. It's the uh, first uh, battle I'm going to be posting. It's actually with the in a division with the Seminoles FSU. It's a buddy of mine. Anyways, hope you enjoy it. It is a replay. I actually forgot to record this at the time, so you can't hear us talking, but uh, I did post commentary on it. Uh, the replay system, it's a little uh, messed up, so you will notice a few things like the just uh, targets over ships moving around and just some funky uh, things like when I target select an aircraft or enemy ship uh, with the control click. It doesn't actually show up. Anyways, the Murmansk, a really awesome ship, has outstanding range for tier 5, 14.8 cruiser, really maneuverable, fast rudder shift time, nice rudder turning circle. And nice maximum speed of 34.4. The best thing I think about it is the range 14.8. And after you launch the float plane, it goes out to 17.7. Uh, that is one of my gripes about it. I'd really rather have a uh, fighter plane than a spotting aircraft, but you know, hey, it's, uh, it's there, I guess. And I would really uh, hydro acoustic search. You know, of course, you don't have the barrage, but you know, that's understandable. I, I don't use this, I just kind of forget about it sometimes. And uh, there are one instance in this gameplay I sh really should have used it really nice ship uh, anyways uh, I think it's worth it if you don't have a premium and you're looking for a fun ship and if you like the Omaha and the Phoenix go ahead and uh, get this thing it'll make you more money anyways hope you enjoy come back and see me all right here with the Murmansk and uh, division buddy Seminoles FSU on fault line standard battle both in tier 5 mine is the Murmansk is the Omaha like I said of course, you know, divisions, they always like to start you completely as far apart as possible because uh, war gaming and reasons. I'm going to meet up here in the middle and see where we need to go first. Really do like the Murmansk. Uh, it's a really, really good ship. Really nice range on it. Uh, they should be updating the Omaha, the new hull that has more range on it the sea hole I believe because before there was no reason to buy the sea hole now you're gonna get better AA and extended uh, range so there's actually a reason to do that now sorry about the recording so I actually forgot to record this so while we were playing and so I had to do this from a replay file and the quality on the replay file is uh, a bit lacking as far as the sync of it see a few things for like you know looks like I'm zooming when I'm not zooming I'm, I'm doing the, the the quick look buttons and it's actually like zooming in and out but weird yeah, a few little things like that and it's getting kind of desynced every now and again anyway so that's the replace that World of Warships has now as we're going up here I think we were if I recall we were talking about where we wanted to go and I was saying let's go the uh, 7 uh, 10 side because not many of our team went over there. And uh, two Langley's each side, which is kind of it's kind of an interesting matchmaker. Even carriers, you don't see that uh, often. So now here we are, we're turning back around and heading out. enemy cruiser in our range but there's a mountain between him and us so I'm not really gonna get anything on that I think the replaying was kinda of freaking out right now a little bit I don't know why I was doing the selection why I'm looking this way for some reason and now there's enemy uh, torpedo bombers coming in at us drops on a poor old South Carolina gets the guy with one and now they're trying to torpedo the two cruisers now which Torpedoes direct front. with the Langley uh, and I oh, know he didn't go for us he went for the South Carolina too nice dodge by South Carolina he just throws the brakes on and dodges them all. You see there's a smoke that got popped right there. We know there's an enemy destroyer right in front of us. 
looking for that fellow, and there he is, popping around the corner. Enemy Clemson. So I was busy typing my request to our CV to scout. Turn into this guy because I'm assuming he's launching torpedoes. Then I stop turning when I retard. Get the kill. And get a nice torpedo hit. Just drive right into it like a, a retard. It does happen. It does happen. <laughs> it happens. There's an enemy Kuma and two battleships coming in here with me. And there's also an enemy destroyer off to our uh, starboard side at uh, near the islands at E8 that has kindly grounded himself. I'm worried about the Kuma at the moment though. And there he is, nice, nice and straight driving Kuma. I always appreciate a guy that drives straight, loads some AP for him. And start launching uh, rounds into his citadel. There's the first one. <laughs> I just do something uh, kind of stupid right now. I'd get three more. Knock his engine out, and I'm still shooting where he should be, but his engine got knocked out for a second, so. Turn and tire to avoid this guy. Look for that last citadel hit I need. And there's two more to finish it off. Now there's a Wyoming reload some HE and get around. Seminoles has made his way around the island back to help. Staying close to each other. So that's a good uh, idea and division. <laughs> Don't do it all the times, but I should try. Torpedoes to port. Now we have torpedo armors coming in. Got the fire on the Wyoming. Has managed to nick me in the rear. They just fly over, uh, the first ones fly over. That's why I'm just gonna eat some torpedoes. And there he goes, just eats a ton of torpedoes and he's gone. Now I have a South Carolina to pick on. He saw his buddies die and now he's turning around. Throwing out some nopes. Took a really big hit from a in our battleship actually. Looks like he has got two citadel hits on him. Takes most of his health away. Go just uh, trying to get the kill. That's what I do. I always try to get the kills, man. Enemy battleship foundered. <laughs> I will steal or attempt to steal any kill, but yeah, guns out of the fight. That's good news. Enemy Congo coming in. And he, I guess he's looked at the team score and decided he does not want to uh, really get that close to these three cruisers. There's another it's Omaha. What's his name? Scabby? <laughs> Scabby? Okay. He's shooting at me at first. 
Which makes sense, you know, I'm the low health one of, of the division. Taking that torpedo in the very beginning really didn't help my health at all. Now we're both going to make a, a nice starboard turn and head up towards them. So what the replay does, it like it shifts the, the target targeting of the like, enemy ships every now and again. It's kind of weird. Close as may be, trying to get some hoping to get some citadels on this guy. But if you just kind of keep track of who's shooting what, you can see uh, Seminoles actually gets the uh, more damage on this gentleman. If I believe I'm correct. I get uh, I keep on getting uh, the spalling damage because he's maneuvering too much. I should just switch to uh, A G. Now he finally actually comes back and starts shooting at me. I did get one citadel. I feel like I didn't, my gunnery wasn't very good on uh, shooting at this guy. I had a lot of misses. Anyways. Now we're just a race to see who can get the kill. And I, uh, trying to get it. I'm trying to get it, and no, I don't get it. <laughs> Simnel secured the kill there. He did kind of get some decent shots off on uh, my uh, division buddy there. Some shots off on this Congo. Trying to, anyways. But then there's a Langley. Shuffles. Shuffles is just getting about to... He's going to have a bad day. I don't know why I do this sometimes. I lead Langley's way too much a lot. Anyway, so the, the area I'm aiming right now is that I want to get right under the uh, smokestack. That little bulge on the end there. So we're, we're actually both trying to shoot right there right now. It's always fun to get Citadel hits with uh, HE. Not always a fan of that. It's kind of silly. I don't know if I said it before in any of my videos, but I think it was a dev post that said uh, Enemy aircraft carrier HE penetration is like five, it's like a, a fifth of the actual shell diameter. So if you go ahead and actually figure that out, you know, five inch shell, you get one inch of penetration. Right now I'm looking at my uh, max range on that guy, 17.7. I don't know why I just launched the guy just because I wanted to see what the range was. Didn't recall at the time. Turn it in because the Congo's shooting at me. Start laying some hits on the guy. Fire on him. And he is behind the mountain now so we don't have to worry about him we have another Langley to kill Seminoles does eat one torpedo in the stern right there Bogues, they're hard, 
hard carrier to lose in. And I mean that like it, uh, it's a painful loss because you just get hunted down by the, the enemy and slaughtered. About it. Anyway, just took out his steering, I believe, right there. And now, oh, as always, nice Citadel hits with uh, HE. Now the Congo, he's we're, I exposed myself and I got pretty close to him. Now I'm trying to have to maneuver trying to dodge the Congo. And the aircraft carrier blown up. Kill the Langley. Congo gets an over penetration on me. I don't know why he was sitting there. Stopped. It looked like when I look back at him. Or mostly stopped, just going really, really slow speed, I guess. Get a confederate. I always like getting confederates. You should be all happy. Had two fires, he fixed the fires. I should really turn away, but you know, it's not like we're gonna win this match. That was nice having a match that the entire team contributes. One thing. As I whiff some shots here off the, uh, just completely miss. There's no, uh, in battle screen. I did not make a screenshot of it. If I recall correctly, I made about 400,000 credits on this match. Anyways. Hope you enjoyed trying to get the last kill here, but, uh, I thought that was it, but no. Just didn't get it. Come back and see me. Hope you enjoyed.